I'm going to demonstrate using the if block and the if and else block that returns a value in App Inventor. I'm starting with this simple app that represents a traffic light, red, green, and yellow. And those colors are picked from a list randomly and displayed in a canvas to the right of this button. What I want to add is to display the message that goes with each of those colors. For red, I want to display stop, yellow, caution, and green, go. So we'll add some if blocks in a chain here, an if block for each color. And test that out. Green is go, yellow caution, and red is stop. So that is working. I, I wanted to show here that if red was the color that was picked, that stop would be displayed as expected, but also processing of these blocks below it would also occur. The condition test of light colors would all be tested, any number that you have below this one. So if you had a 100 if blocks or if then blocks, each one would have the condition tested even though the first one was the match. So that's not the most efficient way to do it in this situation. An improvement on that would be what we had with App Inventor Classic would be using if then else blocks. If light color equals red, then display stop. Else, if light color equals yellow, then display caution. Otherwise, display go. So if it wasn't red or yellow, then it must be green. So display go. So this also works. And the assumption here is that you only have red, yellow, or green. If it could have been any other color, then you can't assume that it's green here. You would have to allow for testing other colors or the possibility that there can be other colors. With App Inventor 2, we have a change in the block that adds the socket for else if, which allows you to put everything in, in a line here instead of having to put nested if and else blocks. So if light color equals red, display stop. If light color equals yellow, display caution. Else, display go. So the else if block is a shortened way of doing another test. And testing this one, yeah, they all work. OK, so that's using the else if block. Now, for each of those, it was assumed that there were only three colors, red, yellow, or green. Here, we're going to test if the color is green. We're not just going to assume that it's green. So if a different color could be introduced into this if block, this would still work correctly for red, yellow, and green, but the blue or other color that might be introduced would cause this the program to just drop to the next block below this if block. So if that were a possibility, you would need to handle that. So uh, that's this one. It works correctly, and that's, that's fine. What we'll do is we'll add another block to this, and just to show 
in, in the situation where you have another color, how you might handle it. Either. So we're going to add a purple block. We're going to add another block to the end of this. And this will be the else block. We'll handle unexpected colors, colors other than red, yellow, or green. So what we want it to do here is if the color was anything other than red, yellow, or green, we would say to give the user some feedback. In this case, we'll have it display what? That's not what we were. handling the situation where the color we weren't expecting, so we want to let the user know. And finally, we have a new block produced in App Inventor 2 called the then else block, which returns the value, replaces the choose block from the App Inventor class. And that works a little different. It sets a value into a property. So comparing that to the one we just looked at, we have one, two, three, four set screen title to blocks in this example in a regular if block. And we have one here. So that allows us to put all these tests on the right side and assign them to one block, one property block. And the way this works is if like color equals red, then assign stop to the screen title. If it's yellow, caution, if it's green, go. If it's not red, yellow, or green, then that's where we handle the situation where it's not a color we expect to color does not matter for any color other than the red, yellow, and green. But we will still get that message that shows that it wasn't what we expected. And so that is main idea here is to handle unexpected conditions with your if blocks, whether it's an if block or an if and else block. And that's it.